Hello and welcome to Momentum Monday. So excited to have you here today. And for another Momentum Monday with me, Emily McHugh, your supercharged coach. And today it's all about how to manage your focus. That is really what this is all about. And it's a topic that we can always improve on, we can always get better at. And so for our discussion today, we're going to really think about some dimensions of what it takes to manage our focus, improve our focus, really to supercharge our focus. And I invite you to share your tips as well as I go through some ideas. You let me know some thoughts that you have. So I'm so excited to have you all join us today. Yes. Drop me in the comments. Let me know if you're ready to supercharge. <clears throat> let me know if you're ready to have a supercharged week. And if you're already feeling supercharged and you can feel that momentum gaining, because I can, I actually can feel it gaining. Yes, I can. So without further ado, let's just go right on into it. And as you know, supercharging is all about building sustainable businesses without the burnout, having enough time and energy to do what you need to do. And focus is a big part of that. Because if you don't have focus, you lose time and you certainly lose energy. So it really is at the core of this whole supercharging concept. All right, so the first point that I'd like to highlight is that you have to decide when you want to know how to manage your focus, you have to decide what you're focusing on. And sometimes that is the hardest part of the whole process is how do I decide? I have 10 things I need to do, five things I need to do. How do I decide which one I'm going to do, which one I'm going to focus on? So it becomes a sequence of events and or a series of prioritization steps. And in our Supercharge Club, we are doing that with our Supercharge planning system to really break down the process. And I'm going to share a little bit of that with you, where how you prioritize what you need to do is clearly you start off with having these overarching goals that are governing your life. Like these are my top goals. Like, let's say this is January. We're almost finished with January or it's the first quarter. <clears throat> I have this main goal that I need to accomplish. Let's say I need to launch my membership because that was my big goal for this quarter. And there are a series of steps that are involved with that, but I made the decision that I'm going to launch the membership. Okay, so if I'm gonna launch a membership, Am I going to also launch something else? Am I going to launch a new website? Am I going to launch, you know, another product line concurrently? Or will it have to just wait, become secondary after that primary thing that you've decided to do? So that's what I mean by decide. Like select that core goal that's going to be your focus for a period of time and truly commit to it. And make sure that if there's anything else urgently of need, you schedule a time for the urgent need, but this thing doesn't get derailed. This focused goal, this focused plan you have, uh, nothing will stop that. So that's the, that's the decision that you need to make. And then from there, you prioritize this, the tasks associated with that main goal. And you list those in a sequence and then by priority. And then from there, you put it on a schedule, like when exactly you're going to do it. Once you determine what's the most important next step and that is clear, then that next step goes on a calendar. And then when that day shows up and that item is on the calendar, then you do it. <laughs> so that is really what it's all about. And you stick to it. So that's the first step you want to decide. You want to decide. Yes, that's right. And now the second step is, is <laughs> number two, you want to design. Now, what exactly are you designing? You are designing an environment. Listen to this now. You're designing an environment that minimizes distraction. Right now I have a clock going off with an alarm and something else going on in the background, but I'm focused on talking to you right now. So you want to design an environment, a space, a whole um, infrastructure to minimize distraction. And you have to take an, it starts off by taking a, an inventory of what distracts you. Is it your phone that 
has to buzz and go off every minute. I remove most notifications off my phone. I mean, that's why I don't see people's most text um, notifications because I don't want to see them. Excuse me. <clears throat> that's right. I can see them later when I finish talking to you. So minimize that. You don't need to see every little ping, ding, whatever. Shut them off. Shut them off. Now that I'm live, I put this thing on does not ring. Don't ring. Okay? That's right. You sit right there and you don't ring. And so little things like that. But you'd be amazed sometimes people have all these notifications going. You don't need them. I don't need to know every time someone pinged me on Instagram or on LinkedIn or whatever. Shut down the notifications and put a schedule for a time when you will go and see what's going on. But don't let people just jump on all over your schedule, and especially electronic devices. So design your space, whether it's your physical space, whether it's your environment. You tell people around you, I'm not available. But you have to design the, t the space to minimize any and all distractions. That is so critical because without that, you are not able to focus. Okay, here's an okay. I'm gonna save this the next one. Oh, Ecam, thank you. You're adding some cool new cool new <laughs> noises. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try out every one before we go today. Okay, so so that's the second thing. And the third thing <laughs> is depart. Now, what does that mean? It means that you depart from anything, and this is kind of the flip to the design you get away from anything that is taking you away from your focus. So sometimes you're not able to necessarily change your environment where you are. There are things going on around you that you can't change. So what do you do? You get up and you move somewhere else. But whatever it is, you need to stay focused on what it is you've committed to focusing on because that has to, to be accomplished. So remember, we have this no excuse mentality. We don't make an excuse because of this or because the dog is barking or because the baby is crying or because of something. I can't do it. Well, that may be the case temporarily. And you get through the moment when it's happening. But your goal is to focus on that goal that you have. So you will remove yourself when you can. Okay, when it's feasible. When it's the time you get that moment. But you depart. And, and the concept of departing is suggesting that you do not allow a situation to dictate to you that you cannot focus. I want, I want you to just mull that over for a moment. Just mull that over for a moment while I look at a note that I wrote that I can't read my handwriting. I really don't know what I wrote. Okay, never mind. So depart, <laughs> depart from negativity. Depart from anything that's oppressing your mindset, whereas you cannot focus properly. You don't have to stay in a situation that's robbing you of your focus. That's what I am wanting to say to you. And because whatever goal you have set for yourself is that important that it deserves your attention. And so you want to create the conditions that make that so possible. Okay, with that being said, here's another Ah, of course, definitely. <laughs> I love you, Ecap. I love you so much. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of what we're talking about here today. So first, how to manage your focus. You want to decide what you're focusing on, design an environment that's conducive to focus, and depart from anything that impedes your focus, that is interfering with your focus, and any negativity that could be hindering your ability to focus. That is really, those are the three key things that you need to think about when you start the process of your focus because that is what will allow those dreams to come true, those goals to be realized, and your time to be used more effectively for your energy to be conserved. That is definitely worthy of something. Yes, it is. So those are the key things I want to share with you today. I look forward to your comments. I look forward to your feedback. I look forward to your thoughts on what you think about regarding focus and how to manage it and whatever tips you may have as well. 
So in the meantime, let me just share some reminders with you. Um, some reminders, some next steps. Of course, thank you for watching and subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube at Supercharge Coach, like, comment, share. See the description for links of the different things that I'm sharing. Make sure you pick up your free gift. And if you're not on my mailing list so that you can not miss the weekly Supercharge newsletter, uh, you can always get a copy of my book, The Little Girl's Guide to Entrepreneurship. And of course, join the Supercharge Club, where we talk all about how to maximize the use of your time, thinking through different steps of growing your business, and so forth. So if you're looking for support on your entrepreneurial journey, I encourage you to check out the SuperchargeClub.com. And we're actually having our next meeting this Thursday, February 2nd, if you're watching it in a concurrent time, 2023. And so I invite you to join us. And you don't have to be an entrepreneur, by the way. You could be an aspiring entrepreneur. You could want to develop an entrepreneurial mindset and you're never, you know, weren't quite sure how to go about the process, how to really start it. So this is an opportunity for you to do just that. So it's, a, it's an opportunity to explore. Maybe there's a project you want to work on. You could use some support. You could use a community. You could use encouragement. So it would work well for that as well. So, and of course, I invite you, if you know people that you think would benefit from this opportunity, to please share it with them. Because the whole goal is to create that environment of how to focus. And many times having company for the journey encourages you and allows you to stay the course and actually achieve your goal. So that was the incentive for launching the club and it's going, it's so exciting. The members are amazing. So I invite you to join. So until next time, stay supercharged and listen to my little sounds. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so let me see. Adv no, stop that before. Um, um, YouTube might not like. I like my drum bones. I'm gonna end with, and of course, I can't end any episode without. Okay, guys, see you next time. Stay supercharged. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.